kings and queens welcome or welcome back to the kingdom of creativity i know long time no see a lot of you are probably wondering when or why you subscribe to my channel well today's video i'm going to be preparing for my trip i'm going on an alaskan cruise and i'll be doing my own hair nails and eyelashes and one last thing before we get into the video the rest of the Alaskan cruise and travel related content for anyone who's wondering will be posted every Friday at 7 a.m. Central Standard or 8 a.m. Eastern Time. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel and please feel free to leave any questions that you have down below in the comment section. And you can also share these videos as well if you think that somebody else may find them helpful and I'll continue to post them as long as I receive engagement on these videos, meaning likes, comments, subscribing to my channel, which are all free, by the way. If not, the algorithm, which I finally understand, does not push my videos even to people who search for this type of content. So if you've made it this far in the video and want to help me out, leave a cheeseburger emoji or comment the word cheeseburger down below to let me know that you're supporting me. And I promise I engage back. I comment back. And if you leave your app or your social media handle and I have that platform, I will follow, subscribe and engage back with your content as well. Thank you all. All right, so let's get straight into the video. And if you've never seen my face before, hello. I'm gonna start by doing my lashes and then how that process starts, I'm just gonna wash my face. And water looks really hot, but it's not. Just do whatever you usually do to wash your face. Whatever's comfortable for you. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna dry my face with a white rag and gently pull at my lashes just to see if any are naturally gonna fall out after washing my face. And if none fall out, none did this time, then you're good to go. Just do it gently though. All right, let's start with what I'll be using to do my own individual lashes. This is my second time doing individual lashes. That's why there are some missing from this box and this box. This is new. I didn't. I couldn't find the short in store last time, and I said, you know what, I'm just trying it. So when I tried it for the first time, I used these, and they don't even match. I just recognized that this is the Lux and this is the Ultra. I think it worked out. I have a quick clip, took a quick clip last time that I tried my own individual lashes for the first time, and I'll insert it here. So I think they turned out pretty good. They lasted me a week. I lost a few here, here and there. And then after a week when I wanted them to come off, I had to use some type of remover to actually get them off. And this is the uh, remover that I used, but it worked great. It got all my lashes off pain-free. This is the uh, I Envy by Kissed Fast Dissolving Biotin Infused Gentle Formula individual eyelash adhesive remover i won't say you can get this from target but i'm gonna try to link all these items down below on amazon so i have here the and by the way as far as when it comes to lashes i don't really um stray from kiss i love kiss stuff when it comes to me and lashes they don't irritate me Usually, I can't fool with Ardell stuff. I know it's an Ardell applicator here, but that don't really matter. When I, I mean, when it comes to the lashes and the glue, I stick to Kiss. So, anyways, I have the short uh, Lux, the Ultra Medium, and the Long Lux. I'm gonna do short, medium, and long. Even though they're different, no one's gonna know. Trust me, it'll all work out. I didn't mean to do that, but it'll work. Now. As far as the glue goes, I use the Jet Black Eye Envy Long Lasting Individual Adhesive Waterproof Glue. It comes in this little container here for the individual lashes. I did try the clear. I have a clip of that that I'll insert and it didn't work at all. It sucked in my opinion. I don't know why one color will work and another color wouldn't, but that was my experience. Um, here is the applicator I use. It's really helped me. A lot. I loved this tool here. It is by Ardell. This end is like the tweezers. It's plastic. Um, I just used it to put the lashes on. And then this end here can be used to actually like push it into the skin. 
and it's like silicone and soft so love this tool here last but not least this is a mini fan here this is also new this and the short lashes i didn't have these items last time i did my own individual lashes only reason i got it is because from my experience the first time my face tends to get really oily like every night when i sleep and i wake up even if i don't put nothing on my skin my skin is super oily so i have to wash my lashes off mm, every one or two days with soap the soap i use is a dial bar soap um so just this uh spring water dial um antibacterial white bar soap just a basic bar soap it gets all the oil off it's just one of my favorite soaps for my body and my face um also another reason i do that i wouldn't mind the oil so much it's just that when my face sweats and gets oily like that my products leftover products can tend to drip in my eye and it burns so that's why i do that and that's why i got the fan because kind of helped me dry the lashes off without patting them with a towel because i'm not gonna lie when i was washing my face or my eyelashes last time with the soap and i would pat it dry with a towel it would kind of snatch and it would hurt so i plan to just dry them with this fan i'll let y'all know how that works out um if i post this beforehand and it's travel friendly and i will be traveling soon if you have never seen my face hello this is how i look before the lashes um so after we washed our face i just washed my face with my bar soap i have nothing on my skin right now and it is very taut um but clean again i used a dial bar soap to wash my face once you've washed your face you're going to want to pull your hair back um for me personally i have on headphones so that's kind of i have a hair tie though here if i need it this is what's holding my hair back out of my face i also wanted to mention how i do my lashes i work from the outside in from long to short and as we're doing our lashes a huge tip that i can give is to use your camera and to film your lashes as you go by so for instance when you get to about here you want to take it out and take a picture or film your lashes kind of you do your camera up and down so you can see what you'll see when you're done and if you like the placement and you can also see what other people will see when they look at you so this is to help with the placement and to knowing when you should go ahead and transition into the next ones you can do this however many times you need to i usually do it about here 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 and here and then when i'm done i will also do it again to check and see if there um, are any places that i need to fill in again i didn't really explain i have these headphones on one they're keeping my hair out of my face and they're attached to my entertainment um i have my laptop over here off to the side and i'll be watching something while i get that done that kind of helps me stay entertained um because it does it can take a while like i said this is only my second time i don't think it's too lengthy of a process it doesn't take forever i would say i'll let you guys know how long it took me when i'm done but or i'll just put it here on the screen because i'll be done before i post this video the last suggestion that i have before you embark on trying to do your own lashes yourself like I said, it's not too hard to me is to make sure though that you have the time set aside to do it um, and that you can take your time that's the key thing to making sure you get your placement where you want it to be and that it looks how you want it to look um, is to not rush and take your time with it another cool thing that i personally like about doing this myself is that um if i don't like it it's just 25 dollars. you know what i mean it's not a big deal like i say just use this remover here to take it off and you know what I mean? No harm, no file. And only $25 that you lost, right? Versus paying someone to do it and you don't like it or if it hurts, then, you know what I mean? You've lost however much they charged you for their time and materials and stuff. So, me personally, I always stick to doing my own beauty services myself because if I don't like it or if it hurts, um, then I can easily take it off. And I know I'm not going to hurt myself. So all of these pro all of these things that I showed you guys are like $6 each or less. And I remember last time I did my lashes. I think I watched 
either Love Jones or Love and Basketball for the first time. I've seen Love Jones, but I never saw Love and Basketball. I think it was Love Jones. All right, so when you first take the lashes off um, of the container, they do have this little clear adhesive on there that helps it stick to its container. I usually try to take that off. I just take it off with my finger if I can. All right, that's about as much as I'm going to get. If it doesn't come off, it's fine. It doesn't irritate me personally. If it does irritate you, try to get it off. Um, how I'm going to apply my lashes. I've seen a lot of people who pour the glue out to the top of the um, lash container. I don't do that because I feel it dries too fast. I'm simply going to take my lash with my tweezer. Just like that. All right, so I have my lash here. This end here is going to go on my eyelid. And the other end is going to kind of fan out. I'm just going to take the end that's going to go on my eyelid and dip it in the glue instead of pouring it out. The reason I do that is because it dries too fast, my opinion. I'm going to get a nice little amount on there. And it kind of has it, I don't know if y'all can see it right there. It's like a string that you're dragging from it. I just take that part off. I'm going to look into my mirror while I do this. And I'm going to place it right above my um, lap. And if you don't like the placement of it, you have a couple minutes before it actually dries. Or a couple seconds before it actually dries. Or you can kind of adjust the placement of it. And I'm just going to use that other end, that pink end. And slide it down to where I want it to be. And press it in. Alright, the first one is on. And it is not going anywhere. I do not like the placement of that. As you can see, it's kind of outside of my lash. That's why I say to film yourself as you're going. Because looking in the mirror, it looks fine. But looking at my camera, it looks off. So I'm going to take this one off. It'll come off. Yeah, it came off pretty easy. And as I can see from that first piece I did, kind of as my test piece, you don't want to start too far outside, like way out here. Because it, it looked off. So I'm going to start a little bit closer. And if I need to go out further, I can. I'm going to start about right there. That's perfect for me. Now that I'm looking at my camera, it looks more so in line with my lashes instead of being like way out here. So that one is perfect. I'm going to move on to the next one. Same thing. I'm just going to take it off. Take that little clear adhesive that comes with it off. I'm going to dip it in the glue container, kind of tilt it over a little bit and get some of that um, extra off and a little string that string on there. And I'm going to try my best to place it right next to the last one. All right. That second one is on, and it's as close as I can get it to the next one. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and take the other end of my applicator and kind of press them in. Now, I will say this about the pink part of the applicator. Kind of be careful when you're pressing it down. I would press one lash at a time because sometimes when you're pressing one end just right, if you have on like two or three, you can end up making these be these will end up laying flat and the other one will end up like turning outwards or going under the other one. So kind of be careful with that pink part so that you don't lay it lopsided. That's, all, that's the best way I know how to put it. So it's one's not higher than the other or like off to the side. And then as you're doing your lashes also, and I'm doing it in my mirror, but make sure you're looking at them from the side so that you can tell if any are coming under or over the first one that you put on. Make sure that they're all kind of symmetrical and in line with each other. So as you're going through, after you get about three on, I would recommend do this every three, kind of pull on them. Make sure they're all actually on and that they're not going anywhere. Look, see that? That one came off. So when you, about every three kind of tug on them to make sure that they're actually on. Wait, is this one gonna come off? Nope, then it's not going anywhere.
Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm done with the first side, and girl, I'm in a good mood. If you cannot tell, I am so happy with my results. Here is the um, up under the top and the side view. Like I said, I did end up doing long, medium, and short. I didn't go in as much as I wanted to because whenever I tried to put another couple more shorts, they just were not staying. So I think this is as many as I'm going to get on. I'm going to ask my mom and my sister to see what they think. Um, as far as how long it took, it took me a little bit under 45 minutes to get this whole side here done. I'm not going to lie. It is irritating me. For some reason, my bottom lash line right around here, and I don't even have anything on the bottom and the top right in this corner, both the bottom and the top. However, I think that is because this is something that's like foreign to my face. I haven't had these on in a long time. Um... And I have worn strip lashes, but I will say this. If it feels kind of strange to you at first, I say give it a day or two. It's like the same thing with nails or a new hairstyle. It can be uncomfortable at first. You have to kind of get used to it. If it's something foreign to your body, foreign to you that you're not used to. Um, so I would say give it a couple days. I'm going to give it a couple days. And if I can't handle it for whatever reason or another, hey, I ain't losing but $30. And I can painlessly take them off with this here stuff it cost me about five dollars so um next i'm gonna go ahead and get the other lash done then we're gonna move on to the hair and the nails but yes me personally i like to do all of my beauty services at home not necessarily that i like to but i feel like i have to because it's not a burden it's a it is a labor of love it does take time but I make sure I have the time set aside to get done what I need to get done. Because whenever I try to go and purchase these services, I always feel like maybe I'm sensitive or tender headed or whatever, just really sensitive skin. I always feel like it hurts. It's way too rough to me. When it comes to manicures, pedicures, they always cut in my cuticles or scrubbing my legs too hard or putting a scalding hot towel on my legs and feet. Stuff like that, that turns me off. If it, it almost feels like microaggression. It, it, it's not right. You know, I want to go and get pampered and have set aside. When you set aside the money, you don't want to feel like a burden when you're going to get the services. So... Try to stick to doing my own stuff at home. It's not a burden to me either, and I know I'm not going to hurt myself. And it's, it costs me even less. I just have to make the time to do it. And I know when I feel when I get done with it, I feel like a million bucks. So I'm going to put you guys on um, to how I do all these things at home. Hey, y'all. So it is the next day. I did lose a few lashes this morning because... I cut an onion and my eyes started watering and I completely totally forgot I had these lashes on. So these do seem to be a little more uh, dense here than these on this side, but that's okay. Easy fix. I can simply just fill in where I need to fill in as far as the lashes. I haven't lost any others. I still wash my face the same. I didn't wash my eyelashes off last night since I just did them yesterday. But I will probably go ahead and wash them off tonight. Now, as far as the hair, I'm about to go ahead and get started on that. Um, all I'm going to do is shampoo, condition, and moisturize my hair and blow dry it with the As I Am Dry and Itchy Scalp Care. This one has an active ingredient in it, and it just feels really good. It has like that Vicks Vapor Rub, menthol, and camphor feel. So... For me personally, before going into braids, something like that really just makes my scalp feel good. So I'm going to use all that whole line of stuff. I'm using the shampoo, the conditioner. They have a pre-poo and a leave-in. Probably use all four of those products. Um, and I'm starting off my hair kind of in an afro state. That's how I wear my hair sometimes. Diana Ross is an icon. My biggest icon probably. Yeah, but yeah. Diana Ross, I so look up to her. She's so beautiful to me. And to see somebody who embodies what I like doing myself before I even, you know, really knew that, um, you know, she was doing that back in the day. I just love her. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to come back. Okay, so moving on to the hair. 
I am going to be installing these um, passion twists that I bought from Amazon. This is actually crochet hair and it does come with the crochet needle. However, I am planning to install these individually. And what we have here on the left, I know this probably looks absolutely crazy. I have my hair soaking in a bowl. I'm going to tell you guys the price of it here in a minute. I personally soak my hair with the Dr. Bronner's cat pepper, or not peppermint, cast style soap. It doesn't matter which flavor. I have the eucalyptus. I do prefer the peppermint, but I have the eucalyptus and then just this um, apple cider vinegar that I believe came from Aldi. Um, and some warm water. I'm going to let this soak for a couple hours and then just dry it out. Me personally, I like the smell of it. It's a comforting smell to me. And ladies, if you ever, ever have any odor issues, um, when you're downstairs, I know kind of off topic or men or whatever, you can actually take a bath in this combination here. You put about a cup of this, two to three tablespoons of that, and you will smell so good. To me, this smells good. It has like a different smell but it doesn't smell vinegary to me so once I soak my hair and I let it dry we'll follow up with the next step and as far as the price of this hair and how much hair I got it costed me $30 my style yes costed me $30 it is seven packs of hair and each pack has 12 um 12 twists in it so I'll lift one up there's 12 twists here so that's 96 in total for $30. If you ask me, that's a great price. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my next step really quick. Um, I'm gonna start pre-parting my hair. And once I'm done pre-parting my hair, I'm going to unravel these on a braiding stand. And I'll show you guys that as well and tell you about how long it took me. All right, so I also purchased this um, braiding rack from my beauty supply store as well. I think it was about $20. $20 between 20 and 25 dollars i know i didn't pay more than 25 dollars for it but i'm gonna fold it out and uh, go ahead and unloop some of the crochet hair here and put it on this braiding rack to actually before i do that i always pre-soak my hair in apple cider vinegar and uh dr bronner's peppermint castile soap castile castile however you say it to kind of clean the hair and get any thing that's on it off because it can tend to irritate me then i'm gonna hang it out on this rack to dry and then unravel it and get it ready to install in my head hey y'all let me turn this copyright music off but i'm from the sip that's mississippi if you didn't know so the music choice is according Okay, I know I look an absolute hot mess and my room is also a mess, but I promise there is a method to the madness. I just came on to show y'all where I'm at in the hair journey, in the hair journey, no, in the hair, doing my hair process of it all and what step I'm on. So, so far as I've shown you guys, I have soaked my hair, gotten all of that extra film off of it and hung it out to dry. It is pretty much dry, just the ends are damp now. So what I did while that was drying, because got to keep on moving. So I went ahead and pre-parted my hair. I am going to be doing like Fulani twist or Fulani braids, but I'm going to be installing, they call them Fulani braids, but I'm going to be doing twists. So Fulani twist, I guess. Um, and basically what that means is there will be a braided design in the front of my head. So, or twisted in this case, design in the front of my head. So that's why I have the front of my head sectioned off. And if you hear something, that is my lovely crybaby. He wanted to be in my lap. He knows I'm talking about him. Yes, I'm talking about you. But, um, so that's why I have the front of my hair section off because it's going to be a design and then in the back of my hair i've also pre-parted which just saves a whole bunch of frustration for me because parting is the most tedious part but it's also the part that makes your style look the best if it is super neat and clean to me what i've done is gotten my sections my excuse me my rows done and that's how it looks and that's how many I'll have for my size twist. You know how we use our nose, the middle of our face, as a reference for uh, vertical parting? I use my ears as a reference for horizontal parting. So I, I don't know if you can tell from my angle here, but um, 
the first parts that I did was ear to ear. That's what really helped me. And for medium sized braids below my ear, I'm gonna have two, um, two rows for medium sized braids. If I were gonna be doing smaller braids, I would have three rows below my ear. So that was my first part that I did ear to ear horizontal. From there, I made one vertical part down the middle after these two were done. And then from there, I just made enough or started from the bottom and went up row by row and made enough to make my head full, but to also make sense for the size twist that I'm doing. I did use another video for reference that helped me to accomplish that. And I think it's going to make it a hundred times, 10 times easier for me to do twists on my own hair to have these pre-section rows and from there what i'm going to do is twist in one row at a time and brick part each row i'll leave that video down below for the perfect parting on your head um, for reference and the only other thing that i wanted to say real quick about the hair are tools that i use and products that i use that i've come to find out that just make it easier on me work smarter not harder right if you gotta do it yourself you can't find nobody who um can help you with your hair whether it's because you can't find anyone who won't take advantage of you or they got to make you pay a million dollar deposit or whatever it is. Y'all know how it is these days trying to find somebody to do your hair, honey. So um, if you end up having to do it yourself or just want to do it yourself for whatever reason, I do recommend. And y'all, I'm going to warn you, I have a huge mess going on right now, but I got a lot going on and I ain't worried about it. So just excuse it. And I got a whole wig over here. Um, for my sister so it's a lot going on but I recommend one of these lamps here with the adjustable um, LED lamps with an adjustable neck on it and also with this lamp the brightness settings are adjustable as well so that's one thing that I recommend is this lamp here what does that do oh wow I didn't even know it did all that you can change it from white to yellow or whatever. And as you can see, there's a huge difference in looking in the back of my head with and without the lamp. See there? So that's one thing I really recommend. This came from Amazon. There's even a slot in here if you wanted to put clips and combs and stuff like that. You can even stick that off in there. So that is perfect for that. The other thing I'm going to recommend is a three-sided mirror. See, I can adjust it to where I need it to be. That's another thing that's super helpful. All right, and as far as products, I'm going to have to put you down, babe. Okay, he said no. He's not getting down. All right, so as far as products go, love the curl piece line for braiding and twisting my hair. This is the curl piece smoothing ponytail and edge control. I'll also be using the curl piece uh, braid and twisting grip glaze. I have used this before and I absolutely love it. I am about out of the old one. That's how much I've loved it. Like, and it's this big. This has all been used on. You got to get down, babe. I'm sorry. This has all been used on me. I'm sorry, y'all, for the hectic video, but it's just hectic right now. I still hope this can help someone and that you don't click off because of it. Um, and last but not least, um, I typically do use a, mute, a mousse when I'm done with my hair and then put a do-rag on and go about my day for a, few, a little while. So this is the mousse that I'll be using when I finish my style. It's just the Curl Piece Soft Curls Foaming Mousse. All right, y'all. And last but not least, I decided that I wanted to kind of try and do bohemian twist. Now, I know this hair is way shorter than my hair. This hair is 14 inches. So, unfortunately, this was the last clip I was able to capture of my hair. After the previous clip where I showed the bohemian hair, our first flight got canceled. So, unfortunately, this was the last clip I got. If you guys want any more details, just comment down below. If you're not a feet person, I'm sorry, but this is a before of my feet and legs. I am hairy. I'm a real person. So yeah, this is just my before right here, y'all. All right, moving on to the nails, the Manny and Petty. So this is what my before of my hand is looking like. So for my uh, Petty, I wanted to use these white press-ons, but the little sticker won't come off of them. And 
I don't want to change it. So I'm going to put these on my hands and feet. There's 32 on here. I'll make it work. And I don't have time to show the process of it, but I'll definitely show my after. And I know they're going to be so pretty. And this is like a nude pink. It's so pretty. So I'll just show the after. So I have Javon or Jive Vlogs in the background. I don't know what my remote is and I can't so I can't pause it, but I just came to throw this in here in the video. I am back from my cruise for my trip and y'all this hair did me so dirty trying to braid it braid it in individually. I don't think I can show you guys, but basically the twist was like starting down here. I was of course started on the scalp. And then after a few hours, it would just slide and slide and slide. So as the week progressed, all my twists were like down here. Let me see if I can show y'all on this side. Here's one, as you can see. So here's one, as you can see, it just slid down the hair as the week went on. No matter how tight I did it or how I braided it at the root, the individual just didn't work for me and my hair type. It just did not stay. It kept unraveling. The young lady who I watched who did her hair turned out beautifully. But here we are after a week. I spent so long on this style. I'm a tad bit upset. Only reason I'm not real upset about it, for one, like I said, it costed me $30. And for two, I changed my hairstyles about once a week or even twice a week anyways. I really enjoy doing my own natural hair. so. I just wanted to throw that in there while half of it is out and kind of how it's going so far after this style though. Oh, also the lashes came off too. I'm just, you know, after the vacation over, that vibe is kind of over. So going back to the all natural after this, I'm going to probably do a, maybe a protein treatment or a high oil treatment um, and like a roller wrap except i'm gonna silk press my hair and kind of just pin curl it for bed and yeah y'all so this is probably the end of the video here um skin is not doing so hot that's typical with vacation you're eating a whole lot drinking alcohol and everything else all week so just time to reset get back into the groove of things I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog and you all have a blessed day. Again, please excuse the vlog that's playing in the background. Javon will probably never see this, but I really enjoy watching her and her family. So it's late. I'm gonna go. Um, love and appreciate all you beautiful kings and queens. Thank you so much for stopping by the Queendom of Creativity. Have a blessed day.